So here I am on my uh, uh, survival world. You know, I've got all of my stuff here. Um, but there's a problem, and I just kind of need to ask a question quickly before I go to the Crafted Creations of, like, video. Um, now, so in here, uh, I lost all of this progress. I basically, what happened is um, I loaded up the world incorrectly, and so I loaded up a world where none of my modded blocks were there because uh, I loaded it in without any mods. Um, so I lost all of that. So I went to like the most recent backup, which was before, like at the, after I finished building that little house down there. So I hadn't done any of this yet. So I lost all of that progress, which was roughly eight hours, I'm pretty sure. Um, and so my quick question is, should I um, rebuild it in survival? Or should I um, build it in creative mode? The plus to building it in creative mode is I can finish it faster and start working on more builds, make bigger builds. If I do it in survival, then it'll just kind of take longer for another video to come out because I'll be, or not really uh, that, but I'll just be spending more time on getting it back. So the next video, there won't be like some big build. Um, so, like, both are fine, um, but I just wanted to kind of see what you thought before I did anything. Um, so, yeah, just, just kind of tell me in, in the comments what you think I should do. Yeah, I just don't know if I should rebuild in creative and then work on the next prog project or have to go and rebuild it all in survival. Another bonus about building in creative mode is I um, don't have to like go through the building process of figuring out like if I like how it looks. Like that's what takes a lot of time in survival. I don't plan out my builds beforehand, so all of the planning that happens for a build happens in survival. So it'll take even longer to rebuild it if I have to go through planning out the build again, and I don't have the other builds saved somewhere, so uh, rebuilding it in creative would just kind of cut out the need for me to rebuild it uh, and replan out how to build it and stuff like that. So it just depends on if you want me to build it in survival or I can try and get myself into creative mode to fix it. But uh, since it was just this short little update, I'm just going to put some crafted creations updates next but before i do that i have a small uh update as well um i just want to say that i think i'm going to try and start streaming on twitch i might be doing that uh right like right now after this video comes out um i'm not sure right now but uh in in the description will be a link to my to my twitch channel uh so yeah go go do that so hello i know i'm doing this a little bit weird um but i was bored and then thought about it and also i don't have much for a video today so we're just gonna do this 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 weird and wacky thing so as you can see i'm standing in this weird hashtag build uh made out of stone it's it's uh pretty simple uh and it's a part of like my next kind of plan uh the major plan for me is this build, this is like the highlight of my city. It's going to be the Empire Cat building. Um, it's going to be a giant tower, and it'll have my office in it, you know? So that's, that's kind of the plan for here. Um, now, I'm going to quickly show you what I have done. And that's, that's, that's that way. So, yeah, let me go do that. So I do know it's about dark, but here we are. This is, this is the next factory I'm building. Um, I don't know why I feel the need to do this all in, like, this top-down view, but kind of feel like it. So, this is my gold farm. Um, it goes from here also into here as well. Um, and so, I'm going to break this down uh, as best as I can, so that might take a little bit, so skip to this time if you don't really care about that. Um, yeah, so I'll, 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 I'll be right back. If, if you want to stay, stay. So, it starts over here. Hold on. It starts over here. On this side. Over here, we are taking this, uh, we have stone generators here beneath the lava. 
they are then being moved over here and down there. It's being crushed up into gravel as well here at this millstones. But yeah, it's been taken that way and it's being crushed by the crushing wheels. The next step is being crushed by the crushing wheels. After that happens, uh, it is moved into a vault and it goes to three different places from there. So as you can see, one option is uh, over here, it gets thrown into the lava. That is if we get extra gravel and crushed up flint. Then the clay is taken as well, and the sand is moved, washed into clay, and then moved to the next place. From there, it is auto-crafted into... Uh, hold on. There we go. It is auto-crafted into clay blocks. The clay blocks are smelted by this lava here into terracotta. The terracotta is taken for, through that uh, uh, funnel, and grind it up in this millstone. You track? Then the grinded up terracotta turns into red sand where it is washed, and from there it can either become dead bushes. If it's dead bushes, it is uh, thrown in the lava, and if it is uh, the gold, it is taken this way where it is then crafted into ingots and then into blocks. And uh, if we look in this chest here, hold on, we have eight gold blocks so far. So it hasn't been running for long, but it's been it's been pretty good. I also built this little truck outside, um, which is tough to show you because of how I'm making this video. So just 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 trust me. I think it's pretty good. Uh, the next place is actually at the other factory. So let's go back through here to the next one. So here we are inside the factory. I I, I actually gave it an interior. I know, right? So we've got uh, this caution tape kind of caution line around uh, this smelting or around the machinery. Um, it's pretty simple. And then up here, uh, if you follow these stairs, you get up here. Hold on. Yep, up here. Um, where you can go into the main office here. Or you can just kind of walk around uh, here. Apparently, this is HOA approved, so we're, we're looking good. Um, but yeah, that's basically all that I have done, so uh, I'll let you know if I do anything else. But I don't have much time this week, so that's kind of why I'm doing this weird video style. Uh, so then hopefully, at least, it's an interesting video to watch. Also, you might notice I'm wearing a different skin than usual. Just felt like this one, so, you know. So, yeah, the main project is going to be this one. I need more copper, which is why I'm kind of aging it. I prefer to have the blue. But this is a big project, and it's not going to be completed very fast, um, especially since I'm using a lot of brick and stuff. And I got a lot of the city to build left, and I have other projects to work on. Um, I built that gold farm with uh, Cobalt Legend, who is another member on the server. And basically... A part of the deal is he makes, he helps me out with my factories and he puts all of the machinery he needs here and I help him uh, build in his city or in his little medieval town that he's building. Um, so that's basically what like the deal we came to. So yeah, I have other stuff to work on too, like the Catholic Church, but this is kind of my mega project um, for now. And I do have another one, so let me let me show you that one. So just over here, in this empty space, I'm going to build a giant gate. I have a plan kind of thought out. Um, so I'm just going to put that right here, and that's where my nether portal is going to be. Right now, I've temporarily moved it to the inside of my energy factory, because that's like the closest, that's just the best place for it for right now. I moved it to replace it with a uh, trolley area. So my plan with that trolley is just to kind of like take you from the factory area into the main city, which is going to be around here. Um, I also made a deal with Splunkinator that they will build me something here um, in exchange for wine. So, you know, I made that deal as well. But yeah, so that that's going to be another big project going on here is the gate that'll go around here. Um, it's that's going to be the next thing. Then I'll have. It'll actually be centered with my main building, which is about here, it looks like. Um, so yeah, it'll be centered to about here. And then I'll have buildings going down the side. It'll be kind of like a main street up to there. And I'll have other buildings, and I'll just kind of fill the space that I have. I might expand the space that I have. 
like place some more dirt that way or that like that way just i have i have lots of options is kind of what i'm getting at uh so that's the plan um for another time but um right now i don't have much time so i'll i'll let you know if i get any more progress done uh but yeah that's 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 the plan